So my character is a guy named Luke Alves. When he left the military, he went into the FBI, and he was the leader of a fugitive task force. At the end of season 11, there's a huge breakout. Luke joins the BAU with his unit, his task force, to basically hunt these people down. And there are a few that are still left out there, and one of them Luke has a personal vendetta against. So it now becomes a, a chase of minds, you know, learning how to think like these people do. And, and it's gonna be fun because you're not getting somebody that's coming in as an expert that's just sort of jumping into the mix, you know? I think you're gonna, you're gonna watch Luke work his butt off to, to try and catch up to these people that already are so great at what they do. And so I think it'll be fun to watch this guy do what he does and have the skill set that he does to add to the team, but at the same time have to learn from them as well. He's, he's sort of a, you know, a student. I, I think he knows right off the bat that Garcia is missing Derek Morgan a little bit, and she's resistant to wanting to like Luke, and and I think Luke picks up on that, and I think that's great because I think the audience is going to be feeling that. Uh, you know, there's a portion of the audience that'll probably be feeling that way as well. So hopefully Luke gets to win them all over at the same time, and Garcia will sort of be that that character that allows that to happen or, or organically. In terms of teases, I, I wish I had something to really give you something juicy, but I, I think it's pretty safe to say that at some point during this season, the Crimson King and Mr. Scratch will have to go down.